Hello everybody, it is your boy TWX27. Yeah, I, wow, I cannot believe I said that. I dreaded saying that, and I just said it. Wow. Anyway, so today, this is, um, this is gonna be an interesting video. So, um, I'm not sure if many of you know this YouTuber, his name's Swoozy, and I love his videos. His videos are hilarious, they're very relatable, and I decided to just take a look at a particular video that caught my eye, and it's what a toxic friend looks like. I was just gonna, you know, just watch this genuinely, but I thought, now nah, let me just give this a cheeky little reaction. So, let's do this. All right, somebody in the last video said they appreciate how Swoozy puts on a whole fit to sit in a room and talk. Well, uh, we don't do things halfway over here, player. You have different circles. You have your family, yeah. <laughs> you have your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you have your inner circle of friends, and then next layer, and so on and so on. In one of these circles, you might have a toxic friend in there. Thing is, there's a lot of toxic people out there who are very charismatic oh, yeah. and very cool, and that's how they infiltrate your circle. You'll never meet a toxic person for the first time and hear them say, <laughs> Let's go kidnap puppies. Another sign to look out for is they're never the villain. They are always the victim. The toxic friend I had in my circle, we're gonna call him Eric. He still has some friends convinced that he's not toxic. I started getting a little suspicioso the second time we hung out. And you know how it is, your friend brings some rando into your squad hangs and they're like, hey, this is Eric, everybody. The second time Eric came around, he said something that tipped me off. Oh man, you guys are awesome. Thanks for being so nice, because all my other friends, they just cut me off. Instant flag. Holla, 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 holla. Everybody. Oh no, I said this once years ago. Oh no. Could I be toxic? Anyway, <laughs> let's um, yeah. Got together and decided to just cut you off all at the same time? Wait, 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 wait. hang on, hang on, pause button. I'm pressing the pause button, wait. Did they, wait, did they just do a Wakanda? Oh wow, I'm weak, they just did a Wakanda. Oh my God. Yep. Warning, warning. Because either one of two things are happening. Either all of them are the problem. Or you're or the problem. Or you are the problem. <laughs> and one thing I know about toxic people is they're manipulators. Oh, yeah. They'll do something wrong and then try to convince you that you're in the wrong. And something else you need to look out for is they're very self-serving. They always want you to do stuff for them, or in some cases they only hit you up when they need something. But you can count on one hand the amount of times they've gone out of their way to do something for you. I feel like this video is just calling me out. I mean, I mean, obviously I don't mean to do this stuff. It's just, it just happens. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, could I be toxic? Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. But it's fine. I can just improve. I can be better by any means necessary. Man, I said I wouldn't say that in this video. But here we are. Then the squad was moving to a new building. They text the group chat, hey guys, I'm moving to Hollywood on Sunday. Can anybody help? I text back saying, got you fam. Then they said, hey Eric, I'm actually moving into your building. Can you help, por favor? Now I'm gonna be in Long Beach all day with my girlfriend. As we're moving boxes up and down, the elevator door is open and guess who he's, yep. Eric, Ooh. not with his girlfriend, Ooh. not in Long Ooh. Beach. Ooh. Ooh, that's shady, bro. Oh wow, that is shady. That is shady. Wow. Wow. That's shady, bro. That is shady. Just yet, I'm still sussing him out. I introduce him, we all hit it off. He's like, yo, yo, let's start a group chat. About a week later, the girls text me, hey, we're by your condo, can we come up? Again on my Instagram story, he sees we're all hanging out and he feels some type of way about it. Wow, thanks for the invite. Is he joking or being for real? Ah, no. Oh, no, no, mm -mm. no, 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 that's toxic. That is toxic. Oh, that's so passive aggressive too. Just like, wow, thanks for the invite. It's like, what? My guy, what are you doing? You could simply just say, oh, you know, can I hang out? But instead, ah, oh. oh, no, that's so cringe. That is so cringe. Oh. I'm sorry, that broke a brain cell. 
One night we're having Swad Hangs, it's movie night. And you know how it is when you're with a group of friends and you're trying to pick a movie, that person's seen it, and these two people haven't seen it, and you're trying to find a good movie that nobody's seen that everybody can agree on. So then we just say, all right, Eric, you pick. Eric picks that scary movie, The Boy, about that possessed doll. 15 minutes into the movie, Eric goes, yo, this movie sucks. Uh, Alexis, give me your keys, I'm leaving. Um. Whoa, 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 what? 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 Give me your keys. What the? F that's weird. I'm sorry, that's weird. Wow. Another brain cell gone. Another brain cell gone. But in all seriousness, that's actually very weird. What the heck? He's mad. He leaves. And Alexis starts feeling bad. And as Why she goes to text him, bad? I'm like, everybody stop! Why? Emergency squad meeting, right now. Now this is the first time I'm voicing any concerns about Eric to any of our friends, so I'm a little concernical that I'm gonna look like the bad guy here. So I bust out all my notes and I share them with the group. Turns out, they all have stories too. All right, now I have confirmation. This dude is actually kind of toxic. Okay. That's strike three for me, bro. Okay, you're out. Problem is, some of your toxic friends are rooted in so deep that they're almost unavoidable. So Ooh, you gotta keep true. seeing them, and the that only way to true. avoid being around them is to not show up to squad hangs. I said my piece though, so the squad can't say they're unaware. I have spoken. In future hangs, I start noticing Eric's doing this thing where he's trying to get the group to cancel certain people who have done him wrong. Yo, Omar is shady. Omar did me dirty. Yo, you watch yourself around Omar. Just keep keep your distance. The dude is what shady. The heck? Then I notice people in our what squad like, avoid this person. Actually, you said this on Twitter. Let me find the tweet real quick. As you start scrolling, Eric, you could see him realizing that he went through all this huffing and puffing oh, and is no. sinking in that he's about to be proven wrong oh, in front no. of everybody in this room oh. on his birthday. So this dude explodes. Ooh. I don't care what you find. I never said it. You misunderstand what I'm saying. Roddy, roddy, rah, bloody, bloody, blah. Oh. Snap that. Say whatever you want to say, do whatever you want to do. To me, check your tone when you're coming at my friends. I'm very protective. I feel my inner thug jump. I catch him and sit him back down. But at this point, I get involved. Eric. <laughs> I'm weak. I feel my inner thug. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, this guy is funny. Oh, wow. That, that made me fall. Thankfully, I was... Not was. Thankfully, I'm sitting on my bed, so it's all good. Get involved. Eric, you said it. I've seen the tweet she's talking about. I've heard you telling the story. Chill. But in that moment, dude was done. That is Steve right for. I have spoken. I'm gonna challenge y'all to do something. When you cut somebody out, keep them in a position to where you can help them, but they can't hurt you or take advantage of you. Limit their access to you. I'm gonna tell you right now, it is not easy. There's a million lessons to learn from a million people around us. It's important to not just have people come in and exit your life and you learn nothing. Fast forward to a few weeks ago. So you remember Omar, the dude that Eric told us to distance ourselves from? I was just scrolling through Instagram and I saw a shirt and I thought about him. So I called him up like, hey man, I need your shirt size and I need your address. I wanna send you a random care package. Randomly just wanted to do something nice for him. Swooz, are you serious right now? Nice. You have no idea how much this means to me right now, bro. I'm going through a lot. And not for nothing, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Eric told me and a few other people that you were shady and we need to like keep our distance from you, but bro, clearly you're a real one. Oh, he wait, said that? Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang the F on. So, so this Eric guy tells Susie and his crew to keep their distance from Omar. But now Omar is saying that Eric told him to keep his distance from the oh, what? What, what? What is happening? This Eric guy's crazy. I, I, I don't, I don't know. Like he's not just toxic. The guy's a psychopath. I'm very confused. Oh, he said that. Low key, I'm starting to think he's the shady one. I have said my piece. I have voiced my concerns. I have spoken. Gee, I'm not gonna lie, that umbrella thing was low-key cringe, but it's fine. Anyway, uh, that was a good video. Yeah. Um. Oh god, could I be a toxic friend? Because, like, the stuff that he mentioned, I've kind of done it, like, obviously it wasn't my intention, but... 
oh wow this this is just awkward like i was expecting to just have a good laugh but this may have shown some weird reflection of myself oh man well that's unfortunate <laughs> anyway thanks for watching this video hope you all enjoyed this reaction and uh like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next youtube video I have spoken.